My name is Brain of Terror and I'm at NSO at Dublin Roller Derby. In this video, I'm going to look at keyboard shortcuts. So up to now, I've used the mouse for everything in these videos because, well, so you can see what I'm doing. However, at a real game, I will be using the keyboard pretty heavily. So keyboard shortcuts are a very personal thing. Some people like to have a keyboard shortcut for everything. Some people like to use the mouse for everything. Most people are somewhere in between. So like my personal preferences, I'll have the keyboard for most of the common stuff, anything weird, I've got the mouse. Um, so some, speaking of mice, uh, you might also want to consider if you're going to regularly be scoreboard operator, having your own mouse, because it's not uncommon that the mice people have with their laptops are small travel mice, which I personally don't like, and or you might just have a trackpad, uh, which is not exactly the fastest thing to use in the middle of a game. So I personally already bring a mouse, I would suggest you consider doing the same. But anyway, let's get to actual keyboard shortcuts. So we go to operator panel and I've got this login screen we've ignored up to now. What are you logging into? Well, whose keyboard shortcuts to use? Because if you're at a tournament with multiple operators, you don't not have to re-enter them at the start of every game. So I'll put in my name, Brain, and I have no keyboard shortcuts. So the important button here is edit key control, which goes into setting up keyboard shortcuts mode. So I'm now going to set up my standard keyboard shortcuts, which is what I'm currently using with the new scoreboard. It seems to work. So Q, W, E, or for lead den, it's G and H, and I do undos as capitals, so that's Shift H, Shift G. And I'm going to have a point and undo, and then four points is going over to D. Because, well, let's be honest, one, two, and three points aren't that common compared to four, so I can just put them up by hand. And then similarly over here, I've got J, Shift J, and K for the four. I'm going to need trips as well, so I'm using T, Y, and in case I need to move, remove a trip, like that. I'll also often have star passes. So that's normally what my setup kind of looks like. So I want to hit Edit Key Control then to go into proper mode. So I'll just take you through what a typical game looks like for me. And once again, these are my personal preferences. They work for me. Feel free to try something else. So I have my finger sitting over here, ready to start the jam. Tweet. All good. At this point, I'm waiting for lead to be declared because that's probably what's going to happen. And no, oh, lead's declared. At this point, my left hand is going to be on, have a finger on W to stop the jam because I want to catch that call off on the fourth whistle and my right hand is going to be putting up scores. So maybe there's four points there. Oh, other team completed their initial. And oh, tweet, 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 call off. So that's kind of my procedure. If there's a timeout, I press E, adjust the time if needed, and then I'll indicate what type of timeout with my mouse. Coming out of timeout then, that's W, and off we go again. So that's what I use personally, and that's all good. And there's a few things to watch out for um, that can bite you. One is where you're actually typing. So if you have happened to hit, hit here, and in my case, try to start the jam, this happens. It just happens to me at actual games. Uh, so. What I would generally do just to be safe is click somewhere that I know isn't going to cause a problem just to make sure I'm safe. Because uh, I want to know where the focus, which is where I type, is. Uh, another thing that's bitten me is caps lock. Because if you're on a laptop, there might be a, a little lead, a little light for that. Good news, the, the scoreboard will now usually catch you of caps lock and have this warning up here that you're doing this. Uh, but yeah, do watch out for that because then everything stops working. I'm pressing Q, but it's doing nothing because that's an uppercase Q rather than lowercase. Other things, you can remove keyboard shortcuts by pressing either backspace or delete. It is also possible to have the same key applied to two different buttons. Now, I'm not sure why you would ever want this with the current scoreboard, but just for the sake of example, I can press E here and let's say I want that to automatically be end timeout, which is nonsensical, just an example. Press it three times and it'll ask, hey, do you want to make it so E is now over here? Or do you want to make it so it applies to both buttons? 
There you go. Uh, yeah, don't do that. Oh, and then we can just do start jam, stop jam as usual. And that's all good. So there are keyboard controls for you. 